Right chaps, I'm gonna click this button and that is going to enact the fifth monarchy. So we're gonna now go down uh, a little path here. Uh, this is completely vanilla EU4. This is a little Easter egg uh, that you get during the English Civil War. So for some context, this is a really, really interesting sort of sect of Protestant Protestantism. Um, I'll allow you to read this, but I'll quickly uh, summarize. Basically, the idea is that there have been four um, monarchies and that then uh, precedes uh, the establishment of the kingdom of God. So the idea that the fifth monarchist is the idea that now it's time for the kingdom of God to occur. This is going to create an incredibly weird and strange government type in E4. Basically, if I stop conquering, then I die. A really interesting part of this as well is that uh, these individuals believe that they weren't bound by the Ten Commandments because they're saved, uh, which is very interesting. So key part here is members believe that military action is justified. Um, and let them into a group impossible to ignore. So we are going to do this. Now, usually this happens uh, a bit, oh God, I may have already lost, but we're still, one sec, go, go, go boys. Rush, rush, get there. Woo. Okay, new era for the fifth monarchy. So we are going to trigger that. We can get some buckets out of here. I'm just gonna clean up these guys. Uh, Here's the thing, we now have a very special government reform, Fifth Monarchist Regime, which gives us horrific uh, tolerance, but does give us permanent Casabelli, uh, including special Casabelli, like uh, great holy wars and that sort of stuff. Uh, we get war score from battles modified plus 50%, so it's easier for us to win wars. Uh, we also get uh, another missionary. But more importantly, we have this, the Fanatic Zeal Mechanic. So every single month, every single month, that we don't have a thousand provinces it'll tick up by one if it reaches a hundred well then your entire nation collapses every single province that can be released will be released basically uh, it'll be like the end of times so you go bankrupt and it all collapses if you win a war it gets decreased by five which means you need to win a war on average every single five months every five months you need to win a war it's important to note the negative so as it ticks up if we hit a uh, hundred zeal or click close to it we get plus 20 national unrest, but we also get some benefits like province war score cost, um, it will be massively reduced, corporation cost also ridiculously reduced, as well as manpower recovery speed plus 200% and some mystery strength. I have gone ahead and given us uh, Anglican already as well as converting these provinces. I am also going to give myself full stability. The reason for this is because usually you'll get this um, event, I'm also gonna give myself some manpower potentially, uh, but usually you'll get this event later on in the game during the English Civil War, when you have had a chance to build up your, uh, <laughs> your nation. I'm gonna do this from 1444, because I think it'd be more fun to do that. So we'll see how we get on in this realm of endless conquests. My general plan is to keep the Irish miners alive, right? Because again, I've got to win a war every five months. So if I have a bunch of wars ongoing with them, current, like always, then every five months I piece one out for like a ducat, should we say. Uh, that should give us a five year truce and that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, roughly 12 um, times by five, uh, five years uh, worth of buffer. But I'm gonna have to look elsewhere as well. Thousand, thousand provinces, chaps. Thousand provinces. Now, some things might break because you're not meant to do this at the start of the game, uh, but it'll be fine. All right, we are going to go for expansion of zealotry, obviously. We'll get right of donations as well. Get that missionary maintenance down. Go for, I think we will have clerical in the focus later on. Get that monthly war exhaustion as well. I'm going to go for this. Promote Burger's bookkeeper. I think I am going to go ahead and release Normandy. Realistically, our only friends are going to be ourselves. And this way we avoid the surrender of mine. Okay, we waited long enough. Great holy war against Brittany. Calling the Scots, uh, get to break their alliance. It's worth mentioning, and this is the thing that I think is kind of horrible about this. We're already on, firstly, Fanatic Zeal 9, so we're basically already dead. Uh, I'm gonna declare a lot more wars. Uh, but something that's pretty horrific is the fact that separate pieces don't count. I mean, we don't surrender mine, that's the key part. In the years war, I think we're still gonna have our Angevin claim, but I need to make sure it's an offensive war against the French. That's why I did that. So we'll do that to focus on the uh, French a little bit. Just realize the French and the Scottish aren't actually allied. There's Scotland. I'll come back to them later. 
All right, we've got to be the clarity of these wars. Getting a bit behind. <laughs> I'm already stressed. Fanatic Zeal's at like 30. <laughs> okay, there's one victory at least. Let's move on to the next one. Richard Suffolk. <laughs> Anytime I see the name Suffolk now, I'm honestly just like conditioned. Another war. I'm gonna run this nation to the ground. Like I said, uh, usually you'd have at least the entirety of Britain controlled at this point, if not most of France as well. Um, as England in like what, 1600s? Uh, unfortunately, we do not possess that luxury. All right, let's get the zeal down as much as we bloody can. I was thinking maybe I should just cycle the uh, uh, the truces, but it's not going to be enough. I need to get a power base such that I can start like declaring war on everyone else. These ones I'll, I'll wipe these so that I can get some zeal off of them. Reduction zeal. Declaring these holy wars. Fortunately, with these guys, I can sort of blockade and then take them out if I just stand on the capitals. Someone with a bit more meat to them, like uh, oh Scotland, I can't do that with. And yet. <laughs> We're going to have to. All right, send the fleet round. We've got to blockade that. We had zero men stack wiped. It's unfortunate. We're going to be able to get you out, though. It's good. Let's declare another war really soon. I think I'm going to take this fort off of them, despite the aggressive expansion. Oh, right, the board. Damn it. I think I think it'll be a good idea. 415 is an air. Unfortunately, you've got... Oh, wait. No, the air died. That's good. So 244 still. Discipline. Happy with that. This does preclude me from declaring war on someone like France, right? Because I just don't have the ability to do that. I should only be fighting people who are a lot weaker than me. Okay, we've taken a couple of provinces off of Scotland. Okay, and there's another one done. We're barely staying afloat. All right, Zeal's at around 40 or so. That does give us some lovely bonuses, but also some heinous, heinous issues. Reset the truth timer against the Scots. Tier corner as well. Let's go over there. Need to deal with these particulars, but look at the amount of rebels we got coming. Our zeal's giving us plus 10 unrest. Why would you ever pick this? This is just such a miserable experience. Jousting tournament, sounds good. Okay, 15 years, we get morale plus 10% and shock damage received minus 15% or minus 10%. My economy's been okay just because we keep on nicking stuff from the Scots, which to be fair has been the foundation of the English economy for some centuries at this point. The bright side, at least our manpower recovery is good. The downside, we're going to die. Oh, you got rid of your fort. That's really ideal for me. The promise we could take. 43 unrest! <laughs> oh, I didn't know numbers went that high in this game. <laughs> what the hell? Right, I've got to change tactics. I need to. I need more violence in a smaller area. It's in a different group. Hmm. I could attack like Imoretti, vassalize them, seize a province off of them. I think that'll work, provided it's in Europe. Like that. That should because it's the same. Uh, continent subject. I just don't like the idea of losing that much stability. How much would it be? Minus two, right? Oh no, why would I lose stability? It's, it's the it's Great Holy War. I have that on everyone. Hmm. I'm gonna take a save. <laughs> Ordinarily in these sorts of like videos, I'm like, ah, whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna take a save for the simple fact that if I mess this up, uh, I don't have anything to come back from. I'd be screwed, like completely. Teas of the board is done. So I have 14,000 troops to spare for the Circassian escapade. That's that's it. The rest are going to like algiers. That's all I have. <laughs> I need more troops. All right, great holy war. Off we pop. Dude, I feel like I've aged. How's it only been like what, nine years? Okay, zeal's about halfway. Okay, fine, 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 or fine. Right, let's rest up these troops, and I think we're gonna go after Epirus maybe. Only allied to the Pope. Seems pretty good to me. Algiers is probably a better target. All right, let's get that navy back to Kent. Let's get ready to deal with all these rebels. <laughs> all right, we're fine. It's fine. The bright side, the increased zeal means that our manpower is going back faster. We have 8k troops stay. That should be enough. 12k to deal with pretty much all of these rebels. I'm gonna have 9,000 troops available to invade Algiers. It's all I have. It's all I can afford. I mean, him being cruel is not the worst thing because, well, you know, it, it's already pretty bad. Troops and Lancers up. Go declare that war. Took out Algiers. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm really sweating. I gotta do this very carefully. Need to go through and murder those troops, then kill all the rebels. The Redis Algiers is done. Can't make it a core. Going. We'll take it as a vassal. What's religion as well? It means that we can go straight into the Zab. Okay, peace out the great horde. Okay, I think we need to go after Theodoro. Because that gives us access to Crimea, we can then annul our alliances with people. Okay, another tier four. 
external mission give us map recovery speed, which to be honest, I think is what we need. Yeah, let's get external mission. Zab is over. Turn that off to Helges. I think we need to pull out of North Africa. Allied to this. I mean, that's a slugger of a war. That's not really ideal. I'm waiting for the Castilians to declare war on Granada. That, that's, that's what I want to happen. I need the Italians to leave the HRE. Poland allied to Poland. Riga's allied to other people. Novgorod. Where's his capital? His capital is over here. I'll do it. Yeah, okay. Right. Chaps, saddle up. You're going to Novgorod. Let's go. It might not make sense now, but it will later. Go! Oh no, 15% stability cost modifier. Well, I mean, I think we're, that, that ship has sort of sailed several times over. I'm interested in getting zeal now instead of in five months' time where it won't matter. Okay. We've arrested zeal a little bit. This siege has been taking a while, 347 days. It actually hasn't. That's actually a very reasonable time for a siege. It's just that's not been very useful. Like, in terms of my head, it's been so much longer. Uh, okay, to Connell. About to get that one. Uh, let's move that name to get to the over here. Some of these zealots. All right, yeah, Major Anglican. Um, bear with me. Your troops there. Bruce rules. Bring this navy home before it dies. Uh. <laughs> this is gonna be a close one. Okay, we lost one ship. No, we lost a couple more. No important ones though. Okay, let's let's build some more cogs. Our economy is doing great, mainly because it's just permanently geared for war. All right, so the Granada War has happened, meaning we should potentially be able to snipe. There you go. We should be able to snipe the Tunisians. Uh, what do we have here? Navarre separatists and Circassian separatists. Nothing in Ireland apart from Leinster. All right. I think what we need to do is shift our armies down south, go after Tunis, and then go after Morocco in quick succession. Marrakesh War for Independence. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That will work. You want Crimea? I can actually force religion for 5%. You want to... I mean, I might as well watch them here. I've got British walls. Uh, get rid of the alliances. Better idea. It's time. Let's go ahead. Watch our armies. Hopefully they don't get attacked. Oh, good job, Circassia. Well, I mean, you tried. To be fair, 13 is the exact amount I need to transport this lot. So let's send 13k down. Probably going to need the free company as well. This will be fine. Get bogged down a little bit up here. Need you to win that. Thank you. Now we'll need the rest of it. Okay, the very separatists on the board. That's fine. That's a port. Okay, send the free company go to, to deal with that. And then immediately afterwards, we'll go to Algiers to take out the Tunisians. Whilst the Granadans and Moroccan don't want to get involved. Granada is dead. Don't hurry before this thing finishes. Back Crimea should want to come out. Okay. Flip to Anglican. Wait, flipping to Anglican is th that's a bad idea. It's funny, but I don't get the special cast of Belli. So let's not do it. I mean, I could vassalize them. It's, a, it's 6% to vassalize them. Wait, <laughs> does that mean if I like fight the Ottomans, I could vassalize them? Okay, no, like that's that's a future future idea, future video. Uh, for now, let's just get rid of those scary alliances. Kazan's gonna get eaten. No guy is more of the threat, uh, and, but I do want money. No, no, be smart, be smart, chief. Triple Zond is dead, that's one fewer person that can fight. Let's go after Tunisia. Interestingly, uh, Muscovy would ally me. Uh, helpful, because I'm kind of permanently at war. So by the time I've gotten around to asking for an alliance, I'd, I'd be dead. I can't afford to be at peace for any stretch of time, realistically. Take more money for events, always good. Never sleep on the economy. Oh, that's where Novgorod is. There's 99%. Let's get a vassal up there as well, so I can fight the Danes. For the council military access. There you go, let's hide in there. Get off that, that'll do it. Okay, now think, like think. Uh, what do we need to do? We need two. I don't know. Um, we need to fight the Danes, potentially. Who are you allied to? Burgundy, that's a big war. I don't want to fight that. I mean, Muscovy, that's a potential war. Kind of a tricky one, although they're going to be a heart behind us on tech, most likely. Yeah, tech four. Uh, I'm liking the Tunisian strategy, and then we go after Morocco next. They no longer have any allies, so let's immediately go after that. Novgorod's fine. With that, we can go after Imereti, potentially the Great Horde again. And then if... They ever leave the HR we go after the Italian states. It looks like Epirus is dead. Okay, we'll keep moving. Bear in mind, we only have to have a thousand provinces. All right, Theodora is done. Would I take it myself? I mean, I was all right. Do I fight the French? I, I, I really need to fight Scotland, man, but like the French, I, I can't do. That guarantee is miserable. Maybe if I release these guys' vassals and scootage, but then it's kind of pointless. Tikon, I can fight. I uh, don't think I need this many troops. Over here, 14k over here. Karakunulu is a bit of a toothless tiger. 
my thinking is I don't need to, I just need to win the war. That's like 1% war score. That counts. Need a few of those. Because allied to the Ottomans. Okay. Taking a second to refresh uh, how I'm feeling about things. And the Great Holy War mechanic works in, in terms of the Casabella, it works in such a way that we get it's taking war score from battles. Then on top of that, we have in our government reform, plus 50% war score from battles. So realistically, we only need like two battles to win a war, which then should give us enough to be able to piece out someone like Karakunilu. Considering they're a bit toothless, I am gonna test this theory out on them. Oh, so let's piece up Tunis and attack Morocco. And let's bring our troops over there. I think this, this like 23k needs to go home because we're gonna have some rebel issues soon. <laughs> right on cue. Fortunately, they're on London, so that should give us some time. But we've got to hope that 19k or... Actually, 20, 24k, uh, 23k should be enough to beat this lot. Yeah, I mean, let's find out, right? Two battles. That's all we need. Two battles. Grow ourselves. Increase the land shock uh, reduction as well as our bonuses. We've only got tech four. I think we're tech six. No, it takes five. There we go, there's an army. It's a close one, but there's 7% war score right there. And yet it didn't count it as such. That's very curious. I think that there's a disconnect between the war score that it shows in the battle screen and the war score that it actually gives you, which is incredibly problematic considering my entire strategy was predicated on that exact premise. Hmm. Gentlemen, ladies, we are in trouble. Okay, Morocco is dead in front of our very eyes. Let's go take out Morocco. I've got to wait for these guys to... St Ooh, I might as well call in the Portuguese. It's Fez, and let's take out Tetuan as well. It's another 15 zeal. That's actually a lifesaver. Okay, especially if this war over here in the east doesn't go as well as we'd hoped. Although already, medium war resumption. And the relative strength of reliance is, is in our favor. That's why I took all of these vassals. Plus, I think it's funny that there's Anglicanism everywhere. Oh, we've got a Hussite Bohemia. Go on, my lads. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right. It's important that because uh, we have a lot of troops tied up in the east. I don't need all of my troops. I think I'm going to keep these 10k home to do with these uh, rebels and such. And then also to fight Tegonal. And then, okay. Hopefully, get that with soon. I'm going to trust that the Portuguese can handle the Moroccans. 5% war score. Okay, let's, let's test this. It seemed to work. I have to ping the devs. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, trust me, there are going to be some, there are going to be several angry Discord messages. Okay, let's, let's see. We're on 12% war score. It says from battles plus five. Actually, that seems like it would line up. Yeah, I think, I think it's just my, been my guys have been losing. Okay, hang on, let's see. So we're on 12%, five from battles, six. Yeah, okay, the game's working. Right, my bad. Shouldn't have ever doubted them. But that should give us enough just to peace out. That puts now our zeal at 84. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest, I think if Morocco hadn't split, we'd have lost. I think I'd have had to have pulled it. Okay, Shadow King has happened. Time to attack some Italians that don't have friends. Which is most Italians. In real life at least. But I don't think the game calls it as such. It's an incredibly passive France this game actually. All right, next up, Dolkadet. Fortunately, they just gave military access to our enemies. Perfect. It does nicely. There's I can peace out with. No, to one I should be able to peace out with if I can just blockade them. Another annexation. Okay. Zeal's back down to below 70 or just below 70. Okay. Let us continue by doing this. Take your next targets. Um, Tus and Tafliat. Let's go for them. Dolkadet. That's another victory. <laughs> The issue is I'm not conquering, conquering territory. We're gonna to get to a thousand provinces. <laughs> they, hopefully it doesn't mean that me personally, right? I think it's we, we personally have to own it. <laughs> We're good, it's fine. It's not even that impressive in England run right now. I've just been trying to survive. Like the last sort of 10 years, 10 years-ish? No, what, five years. I've all been about just stopping the thing from triggering more than actually trying to win. Let's just keep getting that zeal down. I want Ryazan. Need enough war. Truce of the Emirati. Right, Truce of the Emirati's up. They have a three-star general, but let's go deal with them. Jiv Tunis. Okay. 
against Tunis. I've just given Algiers this fort. It's very, very annoying to deal with. Get a victory against Ryzan. I think I need to fight Muscovy. I think I need to fight Muscovy. Um, got a tech advantage. I, I just, I do think it needs to happen. Um, but th th this could kill me. This could kill me. All right, Zeal's pretty high. How many troops do Muscovy have? Okay. All right. There's some truces. Uh, okay. I have a plan. I'm gonna have to hire some mercenaries and hope that I can take out Muscovy with like 30,000 men, which should be feasible. Then we should be able to take a huge swathe of territory up here. In the meantime, I'll dedicate resources to fighting in Siena. They got no allies. Do that. All right. So 10,000 troops to Siena. 11,000 troops probably up against Portuguese. Fazan could be an option, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Reconquest, because 25% scaled with, uh, well, I don't know if it scales with the province war score cost. Let's just stick to Great Holy War. Off the Ryazan, make sure we don't lose any battles. We have 12,000 troops we need to use. Where? It's gotta be in Italy. Where? No. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay, very more troops over there. That's three wars now. Contact six should help. Just march up, use these lands as bait, head in. Keep going on attrition. He's thinking about it. They went around me instead. Five, 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 three, man. That's a heinous general. Uh, okay, let's, let's give him some support. I don't need this many troops over here. Okay, we need to peace out with Siena. Buy ourselves a little bit of extra time. Okay, just need some more score over here. Siege of Mantua is done. Okay, go ahead. Just gonna force religion on them, because it'll be funny. Uh, send these guys back to North Africa. I need to get this done over here. Oh, it's a quick stack wipe. I think, yeah, they'll just give us their entire land. Oh, Christ. Now our fanatic zeal is pretty much at peak. This will delay the inevitable. Usually I'd only take, you know, my province, my, you know, uh, vassal's cause back. But quite frankly, uh, I think I'm at my wit's end with this. <laughs> I've also been deftly uh, avoiding the coalition side of things, but I think it's time to let the inevitable happen. I probably could have kept this going a while longer, um, but there comes a point where it'd become tedious. And I was, I've was i been having a lot of fun with it, and I want this to, to exist as a fun video, although the temptation to declare war Morocco and save myself is, is very high right now. But no, in a few months' time, the reign of the fifth monarchist will come crashing down. The wheel has unavoidably turned. The tides, e the tides and ebbs of government are ever flowing, and the ones to be favored for a time are soon or later sure to lose that favor and be removed from that position. This has happened to us too, and this chapter in our history has been closed. We do still keep a lot of our territory, uh, well, a decent chunk of it at least, and it removes the fifth uh, monarchist government type. Uh, I would, uh, I'd highly recommend giving that challenge a go. It's honestly a lot of fun. So all of our subjects, by the way, also get released. Uh, it's, it's a pretty heinous time. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. I, I want to see more people try that. So uh, I'm gonna put exactly how you can do it, um, starting from the start in a non-Iron Man game in EU4, and uh, I'd be great if you guys could uh, could send in some screenshots on the Discord, or technically we have a Reddit, so why not put it on there, uh, of, of how you guys get along, because it is a, like a mad rush. If you can survive the first sort of like 10 years, you can start to build a power base, because you can expand in so many different directions at so many different times, you can start playing coalitions off against each other, um, or at least, you know, not getting one, uh, which is the way forwards. But yeah, incredibly tricky challenge, uh, and a lot of fun, uh, to be had. So if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Leave a comment if you could. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOut52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.